Hello people. Uh, recently I've stumbled across a video in YouTube from uh, Miss Jisoo which does uh, Korean ink painting wash and uh, it's pretty interesting, pretty inspiring and looks incredibly fun so um, within a short period of time I made up my own setup and uh, yeah try out this technique immediately because it looks so fun so uh, if you want the, uh, all the links and stuff in this video will be included in the blog so click the link below if you want to see the original links so um, what she did is a, um, uh, uh, filling the, the Pentel brushes, the watercolor brushes with diluted ink which is genius right it looks so fun so uh, this is what I got after after watching the video you can look for look up her in uh, YouTube as well so what I will do moving on is I got the mid-tones too dark I put around 60 to 70 percent of ink in the mid-tones which is too dark to work with you you'll see what do I mean in the sample coming up so uh, what I have here is a uh, number D this is D start with D yeah. the D uh, this is just a uh, ordinary Chinese calligraphy brush that you could put water inside right so this is just plain water which is a blender right so what I've learned is you should blend really quick before the ink dries because it drinks it, it it dries really quick. So uh, this is this is the mid tone. Yep, this is the mid tone. I've added uh, more water since. This is uh, number C, right? Uh, mid tones. Oh no, this is B. Sorry, this is mid tones. Uh, Sixty percent, which I recommend you do forty percent. Moving on. And this one, which looks exactly the same, right? But it's different inside. This is C. This is 20% ink and 80% water. And finally, just a ordinary Pentel uh, paintbrush, ink brush, with uh, just full ink, 100% black. So let's see. Uh, let's see how how I end up with. So, uh, because this is a pretty new technique for me as well, so I did uh, studies of work I was uh, admiring on art station. So, these are all art studies, right? These are not my original work. I just use it to learn things, right? All right, moving on. So, for ink, is this one? Uh, the uh, black Japanese ink. I will try uh, Indian ink moving on and see which one's better. So let's see piece number one. <coughs> right. Uh, this is a study on Rudy. Uh, you can find the link on the uh, blog post for his original work. So for this one, uh, let's see what I wrote down. Yep, study number one. Uh, mm, I try to do what uh, Miss Jisoo did on the technique. So I did a wash on the background, and then I start with the um, uh, the wash is 20% right also the under drawing done by the 20% and then I move on to the mid tones right the mid tones uh, with the 60% and then finally adding in the dark darks the really dark areas with uh, the 100% ink and then uh, blend the areas required for soft edges so what I notice immediately is uh, add control 
edge control and line weight is really important for this technique. Certainly uh, learning points for me moving forward. And then also I uh, always tattooing and drawing with a pen. I'm drawing really hard. So it really trains me to use a lower wrist to achieve more uh, line variety. That's such a hard word. Gosh. Variety, right? And uh, yeah, edge control and also ah, blending, right? Uh, you need to blend, you need to plan your blends, right? Because the ink dries really fast. If you watch the videos by Miss Jisoo, she, uh, she actually holds two at once, right? Immediately after the ink, she used the blender to blend, which she, she uses. She doesn't use pure water, I think it's like 2% or 5% ink. But anyway, I'm sticking with uh, full water. So, uh, happy with my first try here. Uh, certainly had a lot of fun. And yeah, the edge controls could improve. And some some areas I actually communicate more by painting. Uh, instead of drawing, which I did too much, this one. And uh, yeah, you will see uh, this this error this this mistake gets worse, gets better. Moving on, right? So piece number two, I did a study on a uh, six more Boca piece, which is incredible. The lighting and composition, all the stuff. So immediately, I've noticed um, my values are not enough for my setup or from my skill, right? So maybe I need to train to be able to create more values consistently with my setup or my just uh, four, four pen setup so maybe I uh, yeah work on it right so uh, I did the under under study under painting whatever you call it and um, I already noticed because uh, this is the assassin on the left is all in shadow I already find my values lacking to communicate that idea pretty well. If you look at the original, this is like an insult on original. This is uh, sorry, <laughs> it it was so good, uh, and you you get what I mean. So this this assassin should be all in shadow, but my value control is not able to show it in this piece. So moving on, I should work on it. So number two, uh, on the process, I feel up more areas with tone and then start to work up the mid-tones with the 60%, right? And afterwards, I added all, this is all 60%, so you know what I mean by it's too dark, right? I should add more water, so maybe moving on work with 40% uh, or something like that. So I did all the fill-ins and also I'm approaching it uh, again, too much on a drawing instead of, uh, as a drawing instead of painting. Right? I should think of values more, which is really a sticking point of this. Also, uh, yeah, also blend faster, right? And yeah, it's with my value and skill level currently, just starting off, it's, it's fine, it's fine. Don't freak out, it's fine, I just started this. And uh, yeah, I should be able to create more values. So this this is the last one. I added the darkest dark and uh, and did a more a lot of blending. Uh, like for a thumbnail size, I guess it's okay. But uh, yeah, I want to improve, right? We we after improvement and growth here, right? So uh, recap, very fun, uh, interesting method. Definitely try it out if you have the have the stuff right. You don't need to do it exactly right. You get the idea. Just ink and dilute it with water, right? Uh, and actually, she just blends it on the video sometimes, which it's, it's the highest skill set, right? To to control the values. So uh, yeah, many stuff to work on, but uh, super fun. And uh, yeah, still. Uh, it's okay, still able to communicate the story of a assassin, but uh, yeah, it's too much, too too light in the shadow areas still, but had a lot of fun. So uh, try it out if you want, 
uh, if you need any help, you could find me. Uh, very welcome, and I will see you guys around the interwebs.